how's it going? So today we're going to revisit Metallica. Surprise, surprise. So this will be another one that comes from the Master of Puppets album, uh, which to a lot of people uh, is kind of the peak of Metallica. So um, I'm hoping there's a lot of people out there that will enjoy this. I've definitely uh, covered a couple of songs from that album already. Uh, and if asked what my favorite Metallica album is, it's really hard to pick. It depends on the day, but this one's always in the conversation. So uh, another really, really good song of theirs from this album is The Thing That Should Not Be. Uh, definitely slower tempo, especially for that era, um, but just a really hard-hitting song um, and a classic, uh, especially for Metallica fans. You know, this is, uh, this is a favorite uh, that doesn't get played nearly as much as, as a lot of the other songs on the album or even from that era. Um, but when it does, it's, it's definitely a very popular choice. So uh, this is what I want to play and share today. Uh, definitely a really, really cool song, and uh, I know I'll enjoy it, so I hope you do too. So this is The Thing That Should Not Be by McCall. <laughs> Thank you. 
so, so, so fun. Like I said, uh, not the fastest song by any means, but uh, some really unique patterns, some really cool fills, and um, definitely very busy. Um, it's not super difficult, um, but it definitely keeps you on your toes, and it's a really, really hard-hitting song. You kind of, uh, especially during the chorus, um, you're playing, you're hitting a, a, a crash cymbal along to pretty much every word. So you're hitting it, uh, or at least for me, I'm kind of hitting it a little harder just because I'm feeling the music. I just, I want to play along to it. I want to, uh, you know, I want it to, to be that much more impactful. And so uh, it really affects the way that, uh, for me at least, and I assume for a lot of drummers out there, it just really affects the way you play the music, when you feel the music, and you want to kind of add your own little stamp to it. Uh, of course, you're playing with other musicians. You don't want to take the spotlight, but you just uh, you hope everyone's on the same page, I would imagine, and, and just kind of giving that, that little extra hit that, uh, that just makes the music just feel more powerful, more, more impactful. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed that as well. Definitely did. And uh, if you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Throw any other requests my way. Um, there will always be more Metallica coming out from me. Uh, so if there's one you want to see before others that I haven't covered yet, definitely let me know and I'll, uh, I'll give it a shot. Um, I'll say straight up, I know that uh, Metallica is definitely my go-to favorite band. I've mentioned before, I'm not, uh, not very proficient and not, not necessarily a huge fan, per se, of really fast tempo kind of thrashy beats. Um, so as much as I absolutely love songs like Battery and Damage Inc. from this album in particular, and songs like it, um, they're not songs that are, for me at least, enjoyable to play. I would much rather listen to them a million times than play them. Uh, so it's not to say I won't attempt them, um, but they definitely won't be the top of my list for songs that, I, that I'm looking to play. But, uh, you know, otherwise, I'm, I'm open to pretty much everything. Uh, even if it is a song like that that I know I'm not going to do good at, I'll still try it. So uh, if there is anything you want to see, throw it my way and I'll definitely give a shot. Otherwise, I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll talk to you later. See ya.